<laughs> Good for him. Uh, it's a goal in life. Fishbowl fact number nine. There is a theory that all of Adam Sandler's movies are related to each other, which is why the same cast keeps reappearing in each one. Actors such as Drew Barrymore, Jennifer Aniston, Harry Winkler, ha, no, no, not Harry Winkler, Henry Winkler, eh, <laughs> the Fonz, Rob Schneider, Steve Buscemi, David Spade, Norm MacDonald, and Kevin James. Keep showing up. Fishbowl fact number 10. Adam Sandler doesn't do many interviews due to being misquoted a lot. So he swore off talking to the media. Fishbowl fact number 11. Robert De Niro says that Billy Madison is his favorite film. Fishbowl fact number 12. The elderly man in the Happy Madison Productions logo is Stanley Sandler, Adam's late father. That was fun. Oh, and full of dairy. It's going to be really fun for me later. And me. Me too. No, yeah, not me. Oh, it's going to be fun for you on the car ride home. Gross. So, Mr. Director, what did you think? Is it a little more meaty than just doing random movie quotes? Yes? Yeah, whatever. Good. Here, we wrote another scene. We just need you guys to build Howard Stern's radio program set. Not happening. Let's uh, see how this one plays out. Here, everyone take these napkins. Oh, yeah, we ran out of paper. And now I have no more napkins for the craft table either. Hee hee hee. I'm a witch. Is it Sloppy Joe Day over there? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, some of this is on toilet paper. Yeah, don't use the toilets for number two. Or number one for ladies either, JL. Okay, so don't use the toilets, period. Okay, all right, we are wasting time. Let's just roll the scene. Albert, you play Howard Stern. It's because I have a big nose, isn't it? Yes, action! So, you lost at the Gotham Awards to Adam Driver. Yeah, and the awards have nothing to do with Batman either. Go figure. Yeah, it's the Independent Film Awards. Without Batman. Right, without Batman. Regardless, you're getting critical reviews for your work in Uncut Gems. That's shocking, right? It's almost as silly as me putting out a movie and getting good reviews. Right, like that would happen. It, it actually did happen. It was called Private Parts. It's the story of my life. Gotcha. Little Nicky was the story of my life. Adam, you should really push for the Oscar nod. I am. I have already done more promotion than I usually do. I even did a rare profile in the New York Times. The Safety brothers and everybody worked so hard in that movie that I didn't want to do what I usually do and just go, eh, I can't help you out there. It'd be a funny big thing if you scored your first Oscar nomination. I'm there to win. I'd even ditch my famous casual look for a Nike tuxedo. If I don't get it, I'm going to come back and do one again that is so bad on purpose that just to make you all pay. That's how I get them. So, what are you thinking? Jack and Jill, too? <laughs> Ooh, real funny. Uh, this just in, the National Board of Review just named you Best Actor. That should help you in the Oscar race. We will see, we will see. I have Rob Schneider and David Spade on standby to make that bad movie if I don't win. Cut. Okay. Uh, so... That was the end of the scene. Did he win? Oh, we don't know. We are recording this before the Oscars. You know, you guys always have such great timing. You recorded the Chili Peppers before Josh Klinghoffer got fired, and Game of Thrones before the worst season ever was aired. You know, it is all about timing. Well, I gotta say this. I did learn a little more about Adam Sandler than I did before. Thank you. You wanna learn more? Oh no, Chris don't. Chris do. Oh, it's a do, because it's... Pop quiz time! Way to go, Sabrina. <laughs> I love the pop quiz! This pop quiz is called Get Out Your Penicas and Your Paperas. This is the Quizica. <laughs> it's not easier. The questions can get kind of hardica. <laughs> Score points if you wanna. It's the pop quizica. Smelly eraseras are the most funica. Pop quizica. Five general knowledge facts. On Adam Sandler, in order of the easiest to the hardest to test your knowledge, score one point for each correct answer. JL is stunned. 
Question number one. I can't believe that went on for so long. <laughs> really? It was, it was like shorter stair- than last week? It was like the stairway of heaven version of getting a pop quiz. <laughs> it was? I'm really just... Shorter than last week. It was week. Yeah. way shorter than last week. I don't know what you're talking about. We didn't have a pop <laughs> quiz last week. Well, the, we week know, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, I'm by the way, really I thought that was one of my favorite pop quizzes. Uh, Question number one. <laughs> <laughs> this still ball is mine. <laughs> What football position did Sandler's character play in The Water Boy? What football position? Laura, you should know this. this is one of your favorites. Yeah, Burt Reynolds was in it. <clears throat> no, he no, was. No, Water Boy. Water Boy. Oh. Where he plays the Water Boy. What and that's that? not the position. It's the one he played on the football field. <laughs> oh, because I was going to write Water Boy because that's who he was. <laughs> Never mind. I was going Longest Yard. Yeah. Nope. That was the quarterback. Yes, I know. I just had to erase it with pen. <laughs> That's why I use a pencil. Oh, whatever. I know what he does on the team. Yeah, he gives them water. No, after do, when do, he's playing do, do you sports. Know, do you know why gators have, have all those, why they're so angry? I actually do know why. It's my, my mom. No, says, no, no. I'm going to tell you, water boy. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Go ahead, Cody Sanders. Yeah, it's because of their mandula avangada. No, no, no. My mama says because he got all those teeth, that's what makes him so ornery. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> and no toothbrush. And no toothbrush. Yes. No, it is their mandula oblongata. Moving on. Question number two. <laughs> How many times does Adam Sandler's character die in Little Nicky? It's a number. Hint, it's a number. Between 1 and 15. Oh, well, that changes that answer. <laughs> you just make it up numbers. No, those are real numbers. I never made up a number. No, I was going the range-wise. Oh, <laughs> no, I didn't. It's between 1 and 15. 15 or 50? 15. 1, 5. It's between 1 and 5 million. Ooh. It's between 1 and 15. Original number's back on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Question number three in Billy Madison. Who did Billy fall in love with? I'll take the actor's name. I'll take the character. I'll take the profession. Any one of those. That was a big hint. Oh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, baby Adam. Can you stay out of our pop quiz, please? Seriously. Want to touch the hiney? <laughs> <laughs> Question number four in The Wedding Singer. Which musician saved Robbie from a fight on an airplane? Hint, it's a real-life musician. I'm not. I totally am. I'm not. I know you know. (laughs) (laughs) Hint for everyone in this room, but not the audience. I have a pop of this person. (laughs) I'm just trying to find him. Yeah, you can try looking around, but there's four million pops in here. Seriously. Yeah. I should really stop buying them from. (laughs) (laughs) Question number five. What is the name of the studio company that Happy Madison uses for its more serious films? Jail's still looking around for pops. (laughs) Did you find them? Yeah, I found them. I don't even know where he's at. (laughs) Yeah, I found them. I think. Wait a minute, what was the question? <laughs> I, I was too busy looking at the phone. What is the serious What is the name studio? of the studio company that Happy Madison uses for its serious films? Ask me first for that one. <laughs> I, have, I have a really funny one I like. Okay, I'll ask you first. Okay. All right. Pens down and confused faces off. Or up. <laughs> <laughs> I always have a confused face, so what do you want me to do? Question number one. What football position did Sandler's character play in The Water Boy? Laura. I don't know. Tight end? <laughs> Sabrina. Tackle. JL. Linebacker. Ooh, yeah. I think that's what he was. The correct answer is, ooh, yeah, that's what he was. <laughs> <laughs> Linebacker. Yes. Question number two. How many times does Adam Sandler's character die in Little Nicky? Sabrina. Seven. Laura. Eight. JL. Five. The correct answer is not 15. Seven. Ah, you got it right, I Sabrina. almost wrote seven. It's because it was directly in between one and 15, except for seven and a half. Right I oh. did almost write seven. <laughs> I pretty much reason. make seven my guess for everything. At this time, I went, you know, I'm going with five. I'm going to go with the nice number. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. I heard yes. it's really bad, so I kind of want to see it now. What are you talking about? It's amazing. <laughs> I've heard that, too. There seems to be two sides to the little Nicky's. Well, there's always two sides. <laughs> 
That's right, Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> and everybody else. <laughs> Not if you're a triangle. Ooh. Question number three. In Billy Madison, who did Billy fall in love with? Sabrina. The teacher. What grade did she teach? Hey, you, you didn't, didn't specify say. that. You just said profession. Third grade. Laura. His teacher. JL, since you gave Sabrina the answer. <laughs> oh, Veronica Vaughn. Oh, I wrote Veronica originally. See, and I scratched it out. Well, that would be a wrong answer then. No, her name was Veronica. His third grade teacher, Veronica Vaughn, played by Bridget Wilson. I knew it was Veronica. He's married to Pete Sampras. Question number four. Which musician saved Robbie from a fight on an airplane in The Wedding Singer? Laura. Billy Idol. Sabrina. Billy Idol. JL. What? Billy Idol. <laughs> Billy Idol is not the only musician <laughs> up there. Well, yeah, yeah I don't but... see Prince saving him from a fight. Britney Spears definitely wasn't going no. to, and nobody wants Peter Chris to do anything anymore. Uh-uh. The correct answer was Britney Spears. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> it was Billy Idol. And question number five. What is the name of the studio company that Happy Madison uses for its serious films? Laura. Serious Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to kind of kick yourself when you hear the answer. <laughs> Probably. JL. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> this serious film is brought to you by. <laughs> See, doesn't Serious Gilmore sound better? No. Yes. Sabrina. Boring Madison. <laughs> it's actually Madison 23. Ugh. Meh. 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 Why I think our answers yeah. were all better. Yeah. Why 23? I don't that's know. how many films he made before they finally uh, <laughs> told him he got one wrong. Um, that's no when idea. he made it to Jack and Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Sources for this script oh, are... No. <laughs> what are you doing? Picking <laughs> 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 up the script! <laughs> <laughs> the role of Laura will now be played by Sabrina, who has them in order. <laughs> <laughs> Start with page 18. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then she lost 19 to 20. <laughs> you dropped the script just like Sabrina did in the script. I did, I did. Now it's written on toilet paper. <laughs> Speaking of which, I had slightly used. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to work with what I had. <laughs> Back to the sources. Goodhousekeeping.com, biography.com, thequiz.com. Behind the Music featuring Kaja <laughs> Gugu and RottenTomatoes.com. Oh, that's so nice. It is, they did do a great Behind the Music on them. You know why? Because Adam Sandler is too shy, shy. Hush, hush. I do I. Such a great song. Well, I would just like to thank you for for holding up the production as you quiz each other on Adam Sandler. Not sure what the point of that was. To get us to about an hour. What? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, well, let's do the Sandler family thing next. Oh, I like the Sandler family thing. What is that? Oh, I don't know. Uh, like, probably something to do with thing from Adam's family and Sandler. No. <laughs> no. I love Cousin Hits. Not even close. <laughs> okay. Give the man a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Cousin Hits. Background. Remember your background. Okay. Action. All right, people. We're about to shoot the next scene of Big Daddy. This is a scene where the waitress who takes my order of a whoopio while I'm in the sports bar with one of the Sprouse brothers playing the kid I adopt. Sprouse. Yeah, that's what I said. You just don't understand me because I'm Adam Sandler and you're just in the background, so shh. <laughs> Quiet, Laura. Either way, I don't know which one. I can't tell them apart. They're identical. By the way, who's playing the actress? It's Jackie Tatone. Okay, I don't know who that is, but she is hot. Yeah, she's a model, and she played Sally and Deuce Bigelow, Mel Gigolo, a movie your production company produced for Rob Schneider. Uh, I didn't watch it. I don't blame ya. I'm going to date her, then marry her, put her in my movies like Fifty First Dates and Grown Ups 1 and 2, and she's going to change her religion for me. Oh, I'll do that on one condition. We have kids. Really? Damn it! Okay, I'm not your mom. <laughs> oh, no. We will get married at Dick's Clock, Oceanfront, Malibu Estate. We will invite Jennifer Aniston, Rodney Dangerfield, Rob Schneider, and dress my bulldog, Meatball, up in a black tux. I like meatballs. And your dog, too. Oh, you are the perfect woman for me. What should we name our kids? I suggest Billy and Happy if they are boys. Well, 
In that case, I will have my ovaries produce girls, and their names will be Sadie and Sunny. I love those names. I will put them in my movies as well, like Hotel Transylvania and Jack and Jill. How do you know what movies you're going to be making in the future? I have them all written already. Every year or so, I pull...